Hey everyone, we're here with the team to be most recently eliminated from the amazing race, Bailey and Anthony. I'm Emma. I'm Evie. And I'm Adam. And welcome back to the Tar Pit Podcast. So guys, tell us what went through your mind when you got to the pit stop and you were told you were the last to finish. What was racing through your mind at that point? You know, it's 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 sad to come to an end, but it was also... We kind of saw it coming. Like, we, we were mentally prepared because, you know... I guess, you know, you guys saw the episode. We we were behind. We we knew what was coming. So mm-hmm. getting to the mat, all it weirdly like kinda all just flashes in front of you, just like even if it was short lived, just from the very beginning and the people you met and like it was it was honestly just it was bittersweet, but like I can't believe that yeah. we we're still mm-hmm. standing in front of Phil in this, you know, beautiful country and he's eliminating us, you know, with my best buddy in the whole world. So it was it was still like such a cool experience either way. Yeah. But it, it was sad to leave. It's hard not Mm -hmm. to, yeah, like Bailey says, it's like your whole race life flashes before your eyes. You know, you (laughs) kind of just, you you take, you know, you take in everything almost at that moment. And I think me and Bailey both knew that I think it was our time by the time we were picking coffee beans. So I think we did have a a little bit of time to mentally prepare to, by the time we saw Phil, you know. Yeah, I was like, oh, I got to go back to real life now, dang it. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, Anthony, was, Anthony kept eating the coffee beans. I don't. I didn't think he thought I was going to give him energy or something, but he did a blueberry. <laughs> what were some of the most challenging moments from the entire experience? Hmm. I think something that's it's not like a specific thing, but I think all around is just the pressure you're under while you're mm-hmm. competing, and how it just makes it harder to think and harder to compete and i don't know for us at least it was it just it, it definitely there's there's an added pressure that you don't see or, or feel you know when you're watching it but i think that I, for me at least i don't know how bailey feels but yeah sorry my airpods cut out there for a second but i caught the tail end of that um Do you want to where, where, where were you going with that i'm sorry what were some of your most challenging moments from the entire experience oh I think I think I don't know what Anthony said, but I think definitely the end, just accepting defeat and kind of trying to smile through that. Because I mean, like mm-hmm. we were having fun the whole time, but it, it's never fun knowing you're about to get eliminated. So yeah. I mean, I think just kind of knowing that it was coming to an end was like the saddest part. The, the fact that it had to end was the toughest toughest part. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can imagine. It was like a nice vacation, though. <laughs> <laughs> So, did you guys find out if you really did make Amazing Race history by switching detours so many times? Oh, I um, think we were fact-checked, Ant, weren't we? Yeah, we, we were just talking with uh, Shane and Juan, you know, the, the military boys. Mm-hmm. And they were telling us that uh, actually one of the earlier seasons, and I don't know which one, so um, they were saying that the, someone maybe did it like six times. Oh, my God. Oh. You might have to fact-check me on that. Um, I'm not. I don't know if that's well makes me feel the the detours yeah. but we might have we might have came close to the most recent years i think or <laughs> we might, yeah, we might like, i don't know if that makes me years. feel good you know that we didn't or am i sad that we don't hold the record anymore but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. all we can do now is no i'm glad i'm glad we didn't break it then that's fine yeah. <laughs> so can you walk us through the process of why you switch so many times yeah um I think, you know, from the start, I think our game plan was, you know, we'll do like a physical or labor kind of a challenge sure. compared to um, like more of a puzzle. Or So we thought that stacking the willies just on paper, it sounded a little bit easier. But I think by the time we got there and saw all that was going on mm-hmm. with that, it was a lot more thinking. It was a lot more thinking than, well, and yeah, I say but, thinking, but I mean like strategy and like. Like you don't yeah. even see necessarily like there was yeah. there was layers to it that you couldn't even necessarily see off first glance. Like there was a lot. We were like, I think this is going to take way more time than cooking. Yeah, but, I think um, the, the further we got into it, the little more. I think we just realized, yeah, this is a lot more complex of a, <laughs> of a challenge than probably cooking that dish. So we were like, so, hey, let's go. Let's just, you know, let's cut our losses here and let's just go cook. I mean, we've all cooked before. How hard can it be? But as soon as we get there. Um, it's funny. I say how hard can it be? We we read and I guess everybody else did it, dude. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's, that's the irony, but um, the funny part is the, the whole the whole thing's in Spanish. So we're like, wow. I mean, I, we were like, where do we even translate? What do we do? So 
I think we're like, well, we started the Willies, and I think that's why we. Kind I think of we hit panic, back. like in our brains, we were trying to play cool, but like we immediately hit like panic mode. We're like, okay, I, I can't even like, I mean, like, yeah, all the ingredients were like in Spanish or had Spanish names, and we're like, I don't, I don't know. Obviously, like I said, the other teams, they, they all managed to figure it out and you know translate <laughs> it. But for us, I think we were just like, okay, we know what the Willies are about now. Maybe. That will be faster because, you know, like, rice takes, like, 10, you know, 15 minutes. Like, there was a couple parts where I was like, maybe if we just power through it, we're not going to have to wait on the actual, like, time it would take to cook. And I, it, obviously, they were all bad decisions, and we just finally stuck with something, and it wasn't half as bad as we thought it would be. And that was, like, the hardest part about watching it back, too. We were like, are you kidding me? Like, we were laughing. I know. But <laughs> even answering these, you know, after watching it, I'm like, wow, I, I wouldn't have done that now. But, you know, of course, that's hindsight. So. <laughs> I think, well, you know, like oh, yeah. I'm saying, if we get another chance, we won't switch that many times. How about that? <laughs> yeah, we learned, we learned our lesson. Yeah. <laughs> well, not having been there, but as a viewer, when we saw the Willies, we thought, oh my gosh, that is so, like you said, it's so layered. Like, how, how do you even see what's in the center of that to know how to load this up? It, it did look very crazy. It looked like a real life Tetris game. Yeah, yeah, and you we actually had to go over, you know, and you had to like try to remember a few things at a time and you go over to where all the all the stuff is and grab a couple things that you can remember and try to put it in the right spot. But, and you know, it, it was raining off and on. I, mm-hmm. We were just kind of all over the place trying to do that. I think so, something like, we, yeah, something we like need to work on for sure is like, I, I just felt like under pressure, like the race was on. We kind of just, there's obviously points you guys could see, like we just kind of like hit a little switch and we kind of went from just action instead of like thinking before you do like, or thinking out everything. I don't, I don't, there was just there was moments where I was like, wow, we should have definitely kind of just discussed more, had more conversations about we, things before just going into it. Well, I think it's like, you know, we shouldn't have been so indecisive. I think we should have picked something and just stuck with it. I think, you know, going back oh, and for sure. the most time. So I think, yeah, I think it was maybe our indecisiveness. <laughs> Not maybe, definitely our indecisiveness that really <laughs> right there. So, mm. yeah, mm. for sure. Was there anything that didn't make it to the show that you guys wish would have? I think we said a lot more stupid stuff, but um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, right. I, I don't know. I like Bailey was saying. I do remember eating coffee beans. I, I don't. I didn't see that on you know, there. But... You know, it's funny for the the pole scene. Um, he actually like oh, started like that. Oh, in the first episode, remember when he thought he'd like climb up it? The oh. funny thing is, is, like he actually started to climb it. And I was like, dude, like, there's, there's no way. And, like, production actually had to comment and be like, dude, like, get down from that pole. Like, because, you know, the guys that were hanging up, like, they were waving him on to do it. He was like, oh, like, let's do it, you know? He started climbing up, and it was really funny. They actually downplayed a little bit, which was – Well, yeah, was, I think I was asking funny. if I could come up, and they were they were smiling and nodding. And I was like, I think that's like, yeah, that's – I don't think they understood what he was asking. They are just like, yeah, like, you know, laughing and just waving him on, and he just went for it. It was, it was pretty funny. <laughs> that's too funny so aside from the uh detour uh, the last detour that you guys did is there anything else that you would change or do differently and it doesn't have to be a bad thing right it's not reflecting on something you do differently in a bad way it could be something like i wish i would have enjoyed x y and z more or something like that um like i guess kind of we were saying earlier i wish we just stuck with our gut a little more you know mm. after we switched the first time i wish we just stayed you know in the cooking station and I think totally, in yeah. terms of enjoying it, I think we had a blast. So Yeah, I can't say there's any moment <laughs> where we just did not fully enjoy every second of it. But maybe I think we enjoyed it too much. Like, there's probably yeah, moments where we should have, like, snapped out of, you know, oh, this is really fun to, hey, we're, we're in a race, you know. No, so no, 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 no. So That's why we loved you guys. That's what made you guys so special. Don't oh, wouldn't change a word. Guys. Wouldn't change a thing with that. We love it. And I know that oh, people, it's you. it's very easy, I think, for people and and on facebook and on instagram to comment on how they would have done things but i think it's it's one of those things like you don't know until you're in it and i can imagine i just can only imagine the pressure and the rain and just everything adding up and you just kind of like you said go into panic mode i think it's totally understandable no i I appreciate that i mean even like when you were training for it i was watching back and i was like okay this is easy i just don't have to do this and this and i need you know, I did the same thing, and then you're there, and I'm like, wow, well, that's all out the window. You know, it's this is this is like my amazing race, and it doesn't translate to anything else. That yeah, you before, you know, <laughs> yeah, like you're saying, it's it's your own journey, your own race, and it's it's unique to everyone. You know, so it's I don't know, 
Yeah, I appreciate the kind words, for real. Thank you, guys. No, of course. Of course, guys. Yeah, thank you. What teams did you think were a powerhouse to you when you were racing? Oh, wow. I mean, uh, Cesar and Ricky, obviously. Rod and Letitia, um, they were so strong. Um, was Andrew and Vinny, they're, they're smart. They're determined. Um, yeah. I've never met like anyone them. like Amber and Vinny. They're just so... I don't know. They're they're so great at what they do and anything they apply themselves to. They're they're just yeah. they're intense and, and again in a great way. They're intense. You know, in a great way. Uh, busy and sunny. They were super athletic. Like even on the stairs. Yeah. The last, that last was like they crushed it. They weren't tired. Like they're in crazy shape. I I felt embarrassed actually. You, like I was <laughs> leaving and I was hot and I was sweaty and they were they were yeah. ready to like run circles around us. So obviously um, the funny. boys too. Uh, Shane and Juan. Yeah, Shane and Juan. Very strong team. Um, I don't want to forget anybody. There was a lot of, like, honestly, I, I say, yeah, Melissa and Yvonne. Um, Derek, they were also... Derek and Shalissa, um, they were obviously, they're, they've been killing it up to this this point. And, you know, they are seriously the funniest. Like, you wouldn't even think it, but they are probably, like, the funniest people on the whole cast. Like, low-key, though. Like, Derek, yeah, Derek is, is like, so yeah, funny. he makes me, like, crack up. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't even, like, really think that, but he is so funny. And so is Shalissa. They yeah. were super nice when we got to meet them. And I am, we all, all, the three of us, when we were watching, we have been so impressed with their performance. I mean, to think that they're grandparents and they are plowing through on the stuff. It didn't even look like from what I was seeing, obviously they were so far ahead of us, I didn't even like get to really see them in action. But watching it back, it seemed like they were just coasting on through. Like they weren't even really mm-hmm. like, you know, running too hard or like they were just, they were straight paced, just killing it. So. Yeah, they are crushing it for sure, for sure. So is there anything else that you want people to know about The Amazing Race? I think Um, that um, if it is something you think you want to do, you should go out and try it and do it because it was such a cool experience. And Phil's just as nice as he seems. And it was just like you'll make lifelong friends and memories. I I seriously feel so. Yeah, go ahead, Ann. I'm sorry. No, to say The the Amazing Race is just like a family. I mean, I... I didn't, I mean, I had an idea that, you know, that people had done it before, were close, maybe talked, but I didn't realize, like, this really is, like, it's like a whole amazing race family, and everyone's so involved, and, you know, reaches out and supports And so supportive, everyone's super supportive of each other. Yeah, everyone is, so, it's, that was a huge surprise to me, I mean, I was, it was just awesome to be a part of that, and. I know, because you know, the internet can be, like, a crazy place, and people, you know, say something, everyone just comes around, and is so supportive, and, like, it's, it's awesome, honestly. Nice. Very cool. So what's next for you all? Can you remind our listeners of how they can keep up with you on social media also? Yeah. yeah we're both so on what's Instagram. next for us? Oh, yeah, go ahead, Ant. No, that's all I was going to say. We're both on Instagram. Really, that's yeah, where we're at. But <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, yeah um, what's next for us? That's a really good question. We're still trying to figure out this crazy life thing, but um, we're, we're, we got some stuff on the way, I think. So. Okay. Yeah, I'm we're kidding. we're full of ideas, so just stay tuned. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Now, well, you guys do some kind of, like, renovation or construction we thing, right? We, we have. Yes. Yep, we've been doing have that been. for a little bit. It's um, Smith Twin Renovations on Instagram. And right now, honestly, with the show that's been going on and stuff, it's been, it's been dead. It's been slow. But we're getting back into that immediately, too, so. Okay. Some yeah, stuff, some stuff we've been working on, keeping okay. ourselves yeah, busy. Yeah, a few things coming on. So, <laughs> and then, and up. that's in Florida, right? Or what area yep. of Florida? Yes, it's a clear water. We're outside of oh, like that's Tampa, right. Tampa that's Bay right. area. Okay, so yeah. any listeners, and we do have listeners in that area. So if they're listening and they want to uh, give you guys a shout out on Instagram for some uh, work that needs to be done at their home, they'll look you guys up. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Awesome. Sorry, nice. sorry, we didn't make it farther to represent you guys better, but we had a blast. So yeah, we had a great time. <laughs> no, we loved enjoying you guys, and we really appreciate you guys taking time. We know that you're pulled in several directions this past week. Go ahead, Amy. Now we're gonna lose our funny guys. Yeah, I oh, know. Well. We enjoyed watching you guys so much. <laughs> oh, so, hey, man. Well, you guys, you. you guys ever get bored and want to chat again? We're always down to you know hop on here. So nice. Yeah, yeah. I nice. appreciate it. We, we may do that. Maybe actually, I'll, uh, I'll, this is the beginning of my stand-up career. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, thank we, you guys. No, you don't want to listen to him that much. Right. Thank you sorry, guys. sorry. Yeah, thank, thank you, guys. thank you guys. We want to thank you for your time. Uh, we know you're pulled, like we said, in many directions this week, and uh, we hope you guys are able to take advantage of the spotlight. Take advantage of it. Find, figure out a way to make a few bucks from it. 
Uh, you guys deserve it. You guys deserve it. Thank oh, you so thank much, guys. Seriously, it's been it's been so cool to talk to all of you. And I'm oh, you guys are all you guys. I think you guys got a future in this. Seriously, this is, yeah, you guys are killing it. So thank I appreciate you. it. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Seriously, thank you guys. <laughs> of course, and we may call on you actually to get some opinions as the season goes on and what you think uh, on your it. thoughts. Seriously, yeah, yeah, that would we'll be fun. To. That would be fun. We'll be around. Cool. Right. Well, have a great week, you guys. And uh, again, enjoy the spotlight and take advantage of it. Oh, thank, well, thank you, you so guys much. so much. Just have a good night. Yeah, we'll talk thank to you soon. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Bye guys. Bye.